Our episode starts in East Africa, where Dr. Magnus and Tesla are going through a tomb. They find an area in the tomb with writing that explains that vampires took it over and made it a stronghold. Magnus tells Tesla to take off his bracelet, as the vampires probably booby-trapped it. But before he can make a sarcastic quip, he is shot by a laser, and they're shut in. Magnus does everything she can to keep him alive, but Tesla repeatedly lets her know he'd rather die. He asks her to read her the inscription on the wall while he dies. In doing so, she learns that the Queen of the Vampires is laid to rest in the tomb. She finds a button that opens it up, resulting in Tesla having an invigorated will to get up and see it. Tesla asks Magnus to leave him there to die with the Queen. Magnus instead gets the idea to try to get some DNA from the corpse of the Vampire Queen to possibly save Tesla by turning him back into a vampire, which he was until a recent episode. As Tesla's condition deteriorates, Magnus finally gets through the protection of the Vampire Queen's corpse, draws a sample, and injects it into Tesla, which revives him and turns him back into a vampire. As the two are looking to find a way to get it out, they begin to notice that the crystal protecting the Vampire Queen's corpse is disintegrating. Magnus wants to wait, but Tesla insists that they break her out. He guilts Magnus to agree, and he destroys the crystal, exposing the queen and showing that she is in fact alive and was just in stasis. The queen wakes up disoriented, and they help her down. She tastes Tesla's blood, which was still on the ground from where he was zapped, and immediately figures out who he was from it, which Tesla is in awe of. The queen, whose name is Athena, asks about other vampires, and she's told by the two that vampires don't really exist anymore. She then tells the two about how she was in stasis because only one royal vampire could rule at a time, and her brother was supposed to be the lead vampire. Tesla lets her know that legend has it that her brother was assassinated by his own son when he wouldn't give up power. Magnus tells the queen that they need to find a way out, and she tells them of a corridor in the tomb. Magnus doesn't trust her, but Tesla insists the queen is probably on the up and up, and that Magnus is probably jealous. The queen overhears the conversation. She attacks Tesla, biting him in the arm, then throwing him down a shaft before taking Magnus and telling her that he is not useful in her new world, but she is, as a blood donor that never dies. I can hear you. Yes. Vampire, remember? You need to learn to trust me. And if I don't? That's when bad things start to happen. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Changing the rules. Welcome to the new age. Magnus tells the queen humans will not stand for being slaves to vampires when the queen points out that history says the opposite and humans need someone to tell them what to do or they'll destroy each other. This conversation goes on for a while until they get to a place deeper in the tomb and the queen reveals that her entire vampire court is also there and she plans on reviving them. Magnus attacks the queen with a spike but it does nothing. The queen tells Magnus how disappointed she is in her and how she planned on sharing her world with her. I thanked you for that, by the way. I could always put you back in. It's too late for that, I'm afraid. The first seeds of a new master race. You're lucky to be witnessing it firsthand. <laughs> Done that. That's when Tesla shows up and attacks the queen. The two fight while Magnus tries to stop the other vampires from being revived. She stops the awakening and just before the queen goes to kill Tesla, she makes Athena a deal. She gives up the race that destroyed the vampires and the queen leaves the humans alone. Athena agrees to the deal and tells them how to get out. Before shooting for the Queen, Dr. Madness left the booby trap, which destroys the entire tomb. The episode ends with the two barely getting out in time, and Tesla bragging about how great it is to be a vampire again. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon to know every time I update. If you want to help my channel grow, please check out my Patreon, where you can get access to content early, as well as see the content that can't be uploaded here on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Until next time.